You played under him for years, Wayne Bennett. Did that surprise you that he handled that situation so well? Yeah, no, not at all. I um, mean, when I saw that, you know it's just different to someone just being emotional about footy or, you know, you just know there's something more behind it. So, you know, not the pressure of the last couple of months, you know, Latrell's been under some pressure, but obviously something's close to home. Because even last week when he got interviewed, he talked about his family, mm. emotion. So I'm not sure what sort of happened in and around his life, but I agree it's it's it, we're off limits to that, even though... We work in the media. We all sort of want to know. I just want to know, is he, is he okay? But Wayne Bennett's, Wayne Bennett's the man for the job. Uh, that's what I can say because he understands he's not just a coach. Um, he's a mentor. And I remember one time I asked him, I think we won the grand final one time and then it was like day two and I said, Wayne, you must, you know, get such an ego from all these blokes that you've coached and brought from nowhere and blokes like, you know, myself, who, you know, who no one wanted to sign. He said, what my job is, Dell, is what sort of men you become when you finish playing football. Mm -hmm. And that sort of resonated with me all the time when I think about sort of what sort of people in and around. And I know so many blokes have rung Wayne or text me and said, mate, have you got Wayne's number? When my dad passed away, Wayne was there for me. Through the good times and bad times, he's always there. So when I saw that, it reminded me. Um, when my dad passed away, I played against the Northern Eagles. And then the dressing sheds, I was in the corner and all the emotion just sort of um, just sort of went out of me. You know, I was trying to be strong for mum and, and, and I just started crying and then, this big long arm came over the top and said, "Mate, your dad will be very proud of the man of you are, of what you are, of who you are, and what you've just done." I played a game of footy, which I thought my dad wanted me to play, and I buried him the day before, but didn't stay for the wake. But it's, so he's more than a coach. Um, I love the bloke, and sometimes I think he gets a bit of a, a raw deal with uh, with the media in and around the game. You know, we're part of the media, but we also we're part of the problem in the fact that we'll focus in on whether it's a coach under pressure and things like that. And you know, the media it's it's ganging up on people. And, and individuals, particularly when they're at their lowest point and, you know, under enormous pressure, both externally and internally. So it's hard times. Well, the hardest thing I've seen in and around the game, I know we do a lot of stuff with, you know, yourself, Gus, too. We've got you for life. Are you OK? And that football has been better now. Even Josh Dugan last year, when he when he just virtually broke down on camera, I, I love seeing that. I don't love him like, breaking down on camera. Through it, but yeah. it means a lot because once upon a time, and, and I've been there, and I, and I still go through that roller coaster. I have times when I just don't feel good about myself, I, but and then you just realise that you've got to talk to someone mm. or that you've got to change something in your life. And and for me, I, I don't like, like to see what happened to Latrell, but for any young footballers out there or any young sports people or people in general, it's just good to see that the human nature, that we can talk about it. We can just, not just about the stats, but we can just say, hey, listen, not everything. Everyone's going, oh, mate, he's on $700,000 a year. Why would he be upset? Why would he be, like, crying and that? And I just hate when people say that you can't judge someone unless you've walked in their, you know, well, in their shoes. People talk about, you know, it comes with the territory type yes. stuff. And to a certain degree, that is true. And there's a lot of old school thinking yes. that way. But we've got ourselves into a situation in this country, not only this country, but in the US and in the UK, where we lose six blokes a day every day to suicide. It's the number one way to die if you're an Australian male age between... 15 and 44. But, yeah. So just sit in that stat for a moment. The number figures. one way to die. So let's just remember that, that the old school ways of doing things have got us to exactly where we are now. Yep. So we do need to change what it takes to be a man. We do need to change how we look after each other. We cannot be having blokes worrying alone. So if you just don't worry alone, and what that means is having someone in your life where you can have an open, honest and vulnerable conversation with. And that's exactly what Latrell's doing. And you can judge him however you want. But he's doing that. And Wayne Bennett's gone, you know what? This is not a football issue. This is a man's issue. So all those people that want to jump on his back and so forth, well, if something really happened, really nasty happened to Latrell, then what are you going to say then? Yeah. Back up and remember that they're all human beings having a crack, doing the best they possibly can, loving the game that they love. And the most important thing is give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Be kind and get through yeah. life the best you can and have a look in your own backyard before you start bagging everyone else.